Alex Ramosi, a business prodigy, running a multi-million dollar company, doing over a hundred million dollars a year. What does he have to say about how we can create more profitable martial arts schools? You're gonna wanna hang around for the top three business strategies by multi-millionaire Alex Ramosi. Hey guys, what's happening? My name is Jennifer Waters and I am the sales and systems sensei. I help martial arts school owners scale their dojo towards seven figures and do it with a dojo assistant and our system for scaling. Hey, listen, if you know anything about Alex Hormozzi, he has been on the scene recently all over social media. Everybody's going, how in the world did this young guy in his early 30s amass so much wealth? How is he actually doing over $100 million a year with his company called Acquisition.com? So today, I'm actually gonna break down his top three business strategies for growth and how you can apply it to your very own martial arts dojo. So let's dig right in. The very first thing is you have to create what he calls an irresistible offer, an offer that's so good, someone would feel absolutely stupid for refusing that offer. Now, the interesting thing is that Alex says that you have to create an irresistible offer. He doesn't say that you need an irresistible special. You see, there's a difference between an offer and a special. A special is something that you would see like, get a two week free trial or $49 for four weeks of classes or maybe uh, one free trial class and a free t-shirt or uniform. These are all what we would consider specials. And you know what, for most martial arts dojo owners, when they hear the word offer, they think of it as a special. But the reality is, is that they're two very, very different things. You see, an offer is literally what you're gonna offer someone in exchange for the money that they are going to give you. So. What kind of offer do you have inside of your dojo? You know, one of the things that we work on inside of Seven Figure Dojo is we actually help develop the best converting offers that martial arts school owners can have to generate enough profitability on their martial arts classes to acquire more customers, which we'll talk about in just a moment. And then you wanna make sure you hang around for the very last thing, which is the most crucial key to success that Alex underlies in most all of his videos. So the second thing as we're getting to this is cost of acquisition. You know, and one of the most important concepts that Alex talks about is making sure that as you're acquiring customers that your next acquisition essentially costs you nothing. Well, how do you do that? Well, you come back to the first thing that we talked about earlier, that irresistible offer. You see, for so many people, they stack that irresistible offer with something that sounds great for the customer, but sounds horrible from a business standpoint or a perspective of being a profitable martial arts business. Maybe you might have had an offer before that was like $99 and unlimited classes for the first 30 days and then it rolls over into something else. My question to you is, can you actually acquire customers at a profit for that amount? You know, are you taking into account what you're actually seeing in, their ad, in the ad spend that you are spending on a monthly basis to acquire that customer? And have you also thought about your actual time? Like if you were gonna bill out your time, one day you may have another team member doing this. Have you built in how much it would cost you for your time spent with that one individual customer, the commissions that might be involved, all the different things that go into a cost of acquisition framework to actually see if you are acquiring a customer at profit and can you reinvest that profit back into your business to acquire another customer? That is the real question and that is something that a lot of martial arts dojo owners haven't figured out yet. Now, before we get to the third thing, which is really what I consider the secret sauce to having a profitable martial arts dojo, if this interests you, if you're like, wow, I really wanna be able to take my dojo to the next level, to go towards seven figures, the reason why I'm so adamant about the fact that you can, the reason why I believe it's so important for you to be able to envision a seven-figure martial arts dojo is because just after graduating high school, I set out on a journey to make my family's martial arts school profitable and growth-oriented. And over a four-year period, we went from bringing in probably about five to $8,000 a month in recurring revenue to $85,000 a month in recurring revenue. Now, that happened years ago. Since then, we've generated over $10 million of revenue just from teaching martial arts alone. So it is possible to be able to do this. You just need the right key ingredients, the first being an irresistible offer, the second being cost of acquisition, being profitable enough to acquire the next customer, 
customer. And then finally, you need the third and final piece, which is you have to increase the lifetime value of your customer. If you watch any of Alex's content, he's always talking about this. He's talking about don't just stop with that first initial sale. Make sure that you're actually getting the lifetime value of that customer to increase in value. What does that simply mean? It means that you can get someone to stay a student longer. So if the average time that most martial arts school owners can keep students active in their programs is around six months, how can you double that? How can you triple that? And how can you even quadruple that? Those are the key factors that will increase the amount of revenue that you're able to generate from a martial arts school. You know, it's not always about new enrollments. It's not always about uh, just specials or parents night outs or events. It's also about increasing the lifetime value of having someone stay with you from the time that they're like five years old all the way until they graduate high school and go off to college. And if you can do those things, well then now you really can have a very profitable martial arts school where you just focus on doing the thing that you love. And for a lot of school owners, they just wanna be able to focus on doing what they love, teaching martial arts and having time for themselves so that they can actually go to dinner with their family or take a weekend off or leave their school in the proper hands and in the instruction of their team that they can trust to take care of their martial arts school. Listen, if that sounds like you and you're interested in more information, go to sevenfiguredojo.com. We've got a free training, a completely free course that you can download today. You can get access to this course absolutely free. It's stacked with tons of value and videos on how to actually increase your revenue inside of your martial arts dojo. Until next time, keep being awesome.